doing this to people, putting them through this long-term insecurity about their abode, is inhuman. It is a form of mental and psychological and emotional torture. I have become aware of the incredible distress in so many people who are struggling with these things and who are panicking about not being allowed to stay. And I have patients who are in that same situation and some of whom are of course not professional people. We, we run a low-cost clinic here and so we see some people who are the kinds of uh, mobile Europeans who come here to work they're basically speaking about I'll stay a little bit longer but soon I will have to leave because I cannot face this I cannot do it so they have already moved once they have put down roots they have settled and then they are told you may not be able to stay you may have to give up your new home and this does something to their safety, to their sense of, you know, having a home in the world that leads to mental illness of all sorts, obviously depression, but also anxiety disorders, and it can lead to suicide as well. Okay. And when people say the EU citizens are just panicking for no reason, Theresa May has already guaranteed their rights. Not true. No rights have been guaranteed. It is very clear that the way the rights might be guaranteed in future will make an even further divide between the haves and the haves nots. There will be some who will be allowed to stay because, like me, they're settled in their profession, they make a contribution to the economy, they are not uh, staying at home, they, you know, are not disabled, they're healthy and fit, they're okay. But what about the people who have fallen ill since they're here? What about the people who are here because they are married and they haven't worked, they've raised a family instead? And suddenly we discover that some people who have been, you know, not in employment are now required to pay for expensive private health insurance, which they cannot afford. What is that about? We're still part of the European Union. It's against the regulations. So if that's already happening now, that we're still part of the EU, what can we possibly expect from after leaving the EU? It's not going to be a good story for EU citizens unless we get absolutely clearly spelled out overall guarantees that everyone will be the same as any other British citizen. And that's the only thing that is acceptable. I know that there are people on the other side of the debate who say, why? Why do you think that you should feel so upset. Why don't you just go back home? Home? I am home. I've been here for 40 years. This is my home. There is no other home. There is no other home to go back to.